Nicole Haney and I am a Homeworks by Precept consultant. Um, I have been consulting since 2006 and today I am going to share with you our chemistry 5th edition um, teacher's edition student book lab manual and teacher's lab manual. Let's start with the teacher's edition. There are two books for this one. We are just going to look at the first book, but they are laid out very similar. To start, we're going to look at the table of contents, and you'll notice that you have the table of contents, and it breaks each chapter into different sections. And then on part two, you'll see that it's listed here. It will have the same thing in the second book for part two. On this page, you'll notice that there are things called case studies, mini labs, ethics, serving as, and how it works. These are different things um, related to chemistry. Um, the case studies talk about different um, areas in which chemistry is used. Ethics talks about um, ethics and science um, and discussions about that from a biblical worldview, how things work. Mini labs are short labs to um, reinforce a skill that is being taught or to help in understanding of a skill that is taught. And then you have um, serving as, these are different types of jobs um, that you could find as um, a chemist. Then um, you'll notice that there are some other in other investigations, worldview, um, the different types of worldview that you can see out there and how they are related to um, the Bible and those things. And then the appendixes along with the glossary index and periodic table. We'll look at those in a little bit. You have here um, a view of what's inside the student edition. I'm not gonna linger here because we'll look at the student ed edition, but it tells you the different features, lets you know um, different things that you might want to focus on um, review questions, vocabulary terms, those sorts of things. Um, and then it also shows you the mini lab, um, how it works. Here's the ethics at the end of the section, um, and then the worldview investigations. Then here we have information that is directed to you as the parent or the te as the teacher. Um, it tells you the different features here that um, you can look at. Um, this page gives you lesson planning overview, tells you about the teaching cycle. This is key. These are the icons and the definitions for the icons that you need to know as you're using um, the book. It talks about teacher resources, the lab manual that we'll look at. Um, online resources, um, these are available to you in the homeschool hub um, and you can find those there um, and then there's also quizzes and tests that you that also come with this if you need that then we have the biblical worldview shaping um, it talks about um, how chemistry can be looked at from a biblical worldview and there's different um, facets here and the key here tells you um, what type of um, biblical teaching is it evaluation, is it explaining, is it recalling. Then um, these pages talk about the academic rigor of this course um, and the things that um, will help you with the academic rigor. Then we come to the lesson plan overview and you'll notice here it says the number of days that this chapter should take. Um, and you'll notice that there's lab days listed. Um, and this, this one should take seven days. Um, you could do um, these all in five and then do a review day and a test day. Um, it just depends on how you, you want to work it. This chapter has six days. If you want a breakdown of day by day, the homeschool hub will also have um, detailed lesson plans that are day by day that you can use to help you with that. Um, now let's um, 
go on to a chapter. We're going to go to chapter 11 and we're going to look at the section on stoichiometry because this is um, where um, the meat and potatoes of chemistry begins. So you'll notice here you have an essential question that you would ask to think about. Here are the objectives and here are some of the resources that you might need. Um, and it's, it's reminding you that you're going to have a mini lab um, in a little bit. Um, it talks about um, engaging, gives an overview. Um, it talks about this flow chart um, that you can find in the appendix um, of, the of the teacher's edition. And the student also has this appendix in their book as well. So this is a great tool and help for you as you're working. Um, there's also detailed examples um, for you. Um, it, a reminder um, of, see the check mark, reminder of something that you want to emphasize and make sure that the student focuses on. In this case, it's units um, for the, the math um, process with the stoichiometry. Um, and you'll see that there are um, lots of ex explanations and um, details of how to work the problems. And then there's also that for you as well. Um, and another one that you can use for assessing understanding and it gives you the details of how to work those problems. Um, as we come to the next page, um, you'll see the mini lab. And here's the mini lab and it gives you um, why you want to use this mini lab right here. And then it gives you um, a note of what you can change if you don't have um, the items needed to perform it. So instead of an Erlenmeyer flask, which is um, science, tool, you could use a 20 ounce soda bottle for this lab. Um, and then it has the questions and the answers here um, to help them understand. And again, they have lots of details. Here's another kind of check um, for them with detailed answers for you. And then it has apply, which would we be um, used in the um, lab book. So here's the teacher's lab manual. And if we go to lab 11B, we'll see that we have the 11B here. Um, there's a pre-lab check for you to see, to help them know and talk about um, what they're going to do with this lab. Um, it gives you instructions on things that you might need to prepare. It gives you detailed answers here. Um, as we turn the page, it gives instructions on um, waste disposal, and then it gives um, detailed problem-solving answers here for you to help you know the answers and how to get to the answer. Um, same here, um, you have the analysis again. You have the details up and it's written out specifically for you um, and then the data. Um, there are other tools in this lab manual that we'll talk about in just a moment. Um, as we come back to the teacher's edition, um, you'll see a assess um, where you can check for their understanding of the material. There's re a section review with the answers um, to help with that. Um, there and then there are detail um, worked out solutions in the back of your teacher's edition that give you um, the step-by-step -step process for each math equation to help you um, be able to help your student with those kinds of questions. Um, and then um, there's some differentiated instruction um, if as we go on to the next uh, section. Um, things that you can do to change things for um, the student who teaches 
learns just a little bit differently. Um, and then you have the case study and you have information for the case study for you. Um, and then you'll see the chapter review. And again, the answers, lots of detail. The answers are here in the chapter review. Each chapter has a chapter review um, for the student. And then at the end, there is the ethics um, and you have a, a rubric here at the, in the back of the appendix that goes over the um, what you're looking for with the ex ethics. So article, paper, video, there's your, your specific rubric for those. Um, here's the ethics essay grading rubric um, as we go. So that, that's the chapter. Um, we talked about the solutions. And then the appendix um, that has the several different things, math helps, um, the different appendix with Unix metric things, um, common ions. Um, this is going to be a useful tool for you. Um, and you can also find some of these in the hub that you can be able to print specifically your, your rubrics, your rule view, investigation, your ethics, um, a flow chart for um, compounds um, and then as we go you have a, a nice glossary of terms and then you have your index of information um, so then you have your lab manual to teachers edition um, we showed you what the lab looks like but in the back if you need to um, you can do um, this appendix for any of the labs, if you feel like your student needs to have um, a formal writing of a lab for a lab report. Some colleges require um, seeing a formal lab report. This gives you um, the step-by-step -step of how to have your student do that, and you can do that with any of the labs that are in the book. So those were the teacher's editions. Now we're going to look more at the student edition. and. Um, possibly a little more at the lab book and my husband Jason is going to share um, those features with you. Hi my name is Jason Haney. I'm a chemistry teacher. Uh, I've been teaching for 28 years and I'm also a chemist. That's what my degree is in. So uh, who better to tell you what's in the student book and what it's going to look like than somebody who actually uses it all the time. So let's take a look at the student book real quick. So, right now in my classroom, I'm covering the periodic table. And I have to tell you that I'm more than just a little bit jealous because in 28 years, I have never seen a periodic table explained like this. And I love it. It's gorgeous. Uh, every group on the periodic table, every column, gets its own page that describes the appearance of the element, the physical properties, and the chemical properties. And what kinds of charges they have. Every single one. This is awesome. And I really wish I could steal it from my classroom. Um, and they're beautiful pictures. Absolutely stunning. And really well done. Uh, my wife showed you chapter 11 with stoichiometry and said this is the meat and potatoes of chemistry. This is where chemistry kind of really gets solidified around a single concept, which is the mole, and how to convert from grams of one substance to grams of another. This is incredibly well done. Uh, my book in a public high school has exactly two paragraphs on how to do stoichiometry problems. This is six pages. Uh, and they even do it the same way I do it in my classroom. They use Rice Krispie treats. I use s'mores because I can't make Rice Krispies in my classroom, but I can roast marshmallows over the Bunsen burner. So they do it exactly the same way because you can have them make this and then have a tactile and sensory reminder to fall back on when they get confused. Hey, do you remember when we did this with the Rice Krispies? Oh, yeah, okay. And have it come back to them what they were doing before and tie it into what they're doing today. Really good explanations, walking them through how to solve the problem step by step by step with all the math, including the units, which are everything in chemistry because it's really easy to get lost if you lose the units. Good examples, a lot of extra problems. 
This mini lab is one that I actually do in my classroom and it takes eh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but it works and it works every time. And it's kind of dramatic, so it captures the attention. And it's fun. Uh, I've had kids do it multiple times because it's kind of cool to do. Okay. And then you get to the section review. They have really good questions. They start off simply. State a gener general outline for performing stoichiometry cal calculations. Draw the flow chart. And then they start doing the math problems and working through it. Then it goes into real life stoichiometry. Why is this important? Why am I doing this? Well, there's a whole host of reasons as to why this is important, why it's kind of a central theme. Again, a lot of examples, a lot of good solid explanations, walking through step by step by step. Write what you know, write a balance equation, then you do this conversion. Uh, the case study on sulfuric acid, it's incredibly dangerous, not only to us, but to humans, because it's so corrosive, but it's also incredibly important to make manufacturing everything that we use in modern society. So it's kind of a big deal. The chapter reviews are great. It's a very nice condensed uh, refresher of what was covered in each one and all the terms and where you can find them in each chapter or each section. You start off with very simple recalling fact questions for the review. Then it gets to understanding concepts. Hey, how do you, you know, Prove what you know what you're doing here. And then you get into some of the more difficult critical thinking questions, the, the more complex uh, mathematics questions. And then the ethics, which is an awesome section of this book because you're talking about how does my belief system affect science or how should it or why does it? These are great questions that force a kid to think a little bit outside the textbook and a little bit outside themselves and confront real life situations. Uh, and again, if you flip back to the back of the book, you've got uh, all the appendices that were shown in the teacher's edition. And I'm not going to lie to you. When your kids get to uh, naming compounds and writing chemical formulas, they will live on this page. This page will be a godsend and salvation <laughs> for this class. Uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's very well done. This is a really good cheat sheet for organic compounds. It's a good uh, glossary. It's a really comprehensive index. And a very nice periodic table at the back. Uh, to looking at the lab manual real quick. This is the exact same lab that was highlighted in the teacher's edition. This is a very well done lab, very simple. It's kind of a low stress thing, even though you're playing with acids, it's a very low stress, uh, very safe lab to do with a minimal amount of, equi of equipment. Again, if you follow the guides in the teacher lab manual regarding producing the acid and proper disposal of the acid, there are really no issues with this lab at all. Uh, good questions at the end. Uh, the teacher's edition had sample data for you to, to work through. Uh, very well done. Very easy to use. And like I said, I'm kind of jealous. You have had a brief look at the chemistry 5th edition for BJU Press Homeschool Materials. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to your homeworks consultant.